Good afternoon. I'm Senator Joni Ernst, and today I am here with Senators Grassley, Fisher, and Sass to introduce a very, very important act uh, known as Sarah's Law. And this uh, particular piece of legislation comes from an incident and the untimely death of a young Iowan named Sarah Root. Sarah had just graduated from college and was in Omaha, Nebraska, when she was struck and killed by Edwin Mejia, who was an illegal immigrant uh, in the state of Nebraska. And what happened from that point after he struck Sarah is that she was taken to the hospital. Uh, she was declared dead. But ICE uh, decided not to have local law enforcement officials detain Edwin. And so he did post bond and since then has uh, absconded and has not been found. So we have the untimely death of a beautiful young woman from Iowa, and we have an illegal immigrant who has been able to use the system and abuse the system and uh, not be brought to justice. So Sarah's law would close this gap that we have existing right now, and it would require that ICE issue a detainer. They would detain any illegal immigrant who has caused serious bodily injury or death to a citizen. So uh, we're here to talk about that today. Uh, Edwin Mejia was driving uh, in a drag race. He was three times over the legal limit when it came to alcohol blood content. So a number of, of grievous um, uh, incidents that occurred, again, led to the untimely death of a beautiful young woman. So we will discuss these today and, and we will make opening statements and of course then we'll take your questions. But we want to thank you today for joining us on the call. And Senator Grassley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If this administration had their priorities right, this legislation wouldn't even be necessary. Because they have a priority of people they're going to take custody of or not take custody of, and somehow Edwin doesn't fall into this category because he hadn't been convicted or hadn't been, uh, hadn't been convicted of, of uh, a crime. So here we are with this person out on the street causing this death as a drunk driver. Uh, I just, within the last couple hours, completed a hearing before the Senate Judiciary Committee where we had the Department of Homeland Security. And quite frankly, uh, what you get is a lax, or you get the idea of a lax sense of priorities when people like this aren't included. And uh, this legislation must correct for the shortcomings of this administration not adequately enforcing the law. If the law was enforced the way it was, and they had uh, priorities of people killing other people, taking them into custody, uh, this person would not be out on the street and would not have absconded in this particular case. Mm -hmm. And Senator Fisher. Thank you, yeah. Senator Ernst. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank Senator Ernst for her leadership on this and introducing this bill, and also thank my colleagues, Senator Sass and Senator Grassley, for joining all of us on this. It's, a, I believe, a very important piece of legislation. Sarah and her family deserve justice. And so it's my hope with this legislation they will be able to see justice take place. I've always thought if ICE is not going to do their job in this case, then Congress needs to step up and tell them how to do it. And that's what this legislation does. So hopefully in the future, when we are able to pass this bill, we can make sure that these, these incidences, these situations, won't happen to families in the future. That's what it's all about, is to take care of, of our families in Nebraska, in Iowa, and all across this country from really these horrific events happening to them. I extend my sympathies to Sarah's family, and I want them to know that her loss is not forgotten. We are working to try and make sure that we can not see what's happened to you happen in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Sass. Thanks, Senator Ernst and, and Senator Fisher and Grassley. Um, we shouldn't have to be here today. <clears throat> 
there's, there's no reason uh, that we should be here today. There's nothing that can happen in this legislation, obviously, that can take away the grief of Sarah's family. And so we and so many Nebraskans and Iowans continue to think about and pray for you and that family. But what we can do is ensure that ICE never makes this ridiculous decision again. Um, this is a guy who was drunk street racing, as has been mentioned, at three times the blood alcohol limit. This is a guy that authorities, uh, there's an illegal immigrant that authorities had suspected of similar kinds of rec reckless behavior before. He was known to local law enforcement. And after he killed Sarah, local law enforcement in Omaha said to ICE, obviously we should detain this guy. He's an illegal alien and he's going to flee. And ICE chose not to detain him. It's ridiculous. It's a miscarriage of justice and it should never happen again. And that's the aim of this legislation. Yes, again, I want to thank uh, the senators participating today. And Deb, thank you very much for mentioning the, the Root family and extending uh, your condolences. We all extend our condolences to the Root family. Um, so at this time, I would like to go ahead and open up for questions uh, from those that are participating in the call. Uh, we have time for, for a few. So let's, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have Aaron Murphy with Lee Enterprises? Uh, thank you. I didn't have any questions. Just wanted to listen to the call. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity. Great. Thank you, Aaron. Next, we have Joe Morton with the Omaha World Herald. Thanks, um, Senators, for doing the call today. Um, I just, uh, I think Senator Staff mentioned that this still can't, uh, you know, do anything about Sarah's death. But it, as I understand the circumstances, it also, if it had been in place, would not have prevented her death. What, um, what I guess can can Congress or the administration be doing about the uh, the broader issue of immigration? Um, as uh, you know, Sarah's family has, has called for a more broad, uh, tighter enforcement of immigration to prevent these uh, kinds of incidents from happening to begin with. Thanks. Certainly, Joe. And this is where we do need the administration to step up and within their law enforcement departments at the federal level, make sure that they are enforcing um, the immigration uh, acts that are already in place. We have laws that are in place. And as Senator Sass had mentioned, this young man had been suspected of, of other types of activities, uh, reckless driving and so forth. Um, why we're not enforcing our immigration laws is, is beyond me. So we need to do that. We need to make sure that those bad actors um, are not doing these types of activities. So the current law that, that we're proposing doesn't address the existing laws that are in place that are not being enforced, but what it does do is set the bar for ICE, making sure that once somebody has done a serious bodily injury or causes the death of another person, that they are detained. ICE must detain them. They will not have that discretion to decide that this person's not a priority. And we believe that Edwin was a priority and should have been detained. So could we have prevented it with this legislation? Um, not necessarily, but, but what we do need to do is seek justice for the family of Sarah Root and others like her. Next, we have Shane Vanderhart with Caffeinated Thoughts. I was just listening in. I don't have any questions. Thanks, Shane. Next, we have Nicole with KETV. Do you guys expect to see bipartisan support with this legislation? Oh, I, I would say I'd certainly hope to see bipartisan support with this legislation. I think it's uh, something that all senators can agree upon, that laws should be enforced, and that uh, families deserve to have accountability when they have a loved one um, injured or killed in an incident of this kind. So I would think this would be a, a bill that all of us could rally around for the sake of the citizens of this country. Mm -hmm. A strong... Well, Chairman, go ahead. There's one thing the Department of Homeland Security can do to help the Sarah Root family, and that's get information about uh, this individual that uh, we all here wrote a letter to the Department of Homeland Security seeking information. And you know what we got back? We got back that, well, the Privacy Act uh, prevents them from answering our questions or giving the information to Sarah Root's family. Uh, first of all, the Privacy Act to, 
uh, does not apply to uh, Ill illegal aliens. Uh, it's very clear by court cases. Even some people that are legally in the country called resident aliens, courts have even said uh, that the Privacy Act doesn't apply. But for sure, the Privacy Act doesn't apply to inquiries from Congress for information in our constitutional job of oversight. And if we could get that information, we could share it with Sarah Root's family. Uh, the Secretary of Homeland Security told me today, uh, when I raised this question with him, that he was going to look into it and get us answers to our questions. And just, just to the point of bipartisanship or nonpartisanship, how, how could there be a Republican or Democratic perspective on whether or not a killer should be detained? I mean, this is sort of a basic matter of common sense. And local law enforcement in Omaha, um, I don't think that those police or those sheriffs were Republicans or Democrats when they said to ICE, we should be detaining these, this guy, he's likely to flee. The four of us subsequently began pounding on ICE and the Department of Homeland Security, saying, why would you make this decision to let this guy go? ICE has now put him on their top 10 most wanted list. So they've acknowledged that he's obviously a public safety uh, threat and they shouldn't have d discretion to not detain somebody who killed an American. And I, I would just uh, reiterate to the, the folks that haven't followed this case that uh, Edwin Mejia has been gone for approximately five months now <clears throat> since he was released. Uh, so it does need to be a top priority to find him. Um, there have been a lot of dollars expended trying to find him, and this could have been avoided if ICE had detained him in the first place. Next, we have Amanda with WHO. Do we have anyone on the line with WHO? Okay, next we have Dennis with WOWT. Senator, you mentioned that there's been a lot of money expended in the search for um, Mahia. Are you getting any kind of information or feedback from anybody in the federal government that you'd be able to share on this call about how expensive or exactly what is being done to try and find him? We have received very little information from the department. Uh, we have gone to Director Saldana, and she has not been as forthcoming with the information. Now, I know on, a, on an individual call that I had had with her a couple of months ago, she had said that this was a top priority and that they would put a pit bull on uh, this person and try and find him. However, we have not received any updates, and they have not been forthcoming on where they stand in actually finding this young man. So we are going to keep the pressure on to make sure that he is brought to justice. Um, I would like to see a little more information, as Senator Grassley said, forthcoming from the department. Uh, we know that, that ICE has made him a top priority, but we want to see justice. And to have justice, we need him brought in. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Ed Anderson with Radio Dubuque. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, good, uh, good morning, uh, Senators. Uh, and I guess any, any one of the Senators can, can answer this question. Uh, first of all, I agree that our immigration laws uh, have to have more teeth in them, if you will. Uh, but do you think perhaps uh, Mr. Trump's uh, wall along our southern border may have uh, prevented uh, this illegal alien from getting to the country and preventing uh, Sarah's death? Well, I guess I guess it would be hard to say. Uh, we we do have so many folks that are in the country right now. Um, but just going back to Sarah's law, we want to make sure that if these incidents do happen, that we are making sure those people are brought to justice. Um, first is prevention. We would love to prevent any way we can, but uh, should we not be able to prevent an incident, we certainly need to make sure that, that those families have justice. Yeah. So very focused on yeah. this law. We've got a, a, a problem with enforcement. Uh, we all say we got a broken immigration system. Sometimes when I say that in my town meetings, people will say, well, all you got to do is enforce the existing law. And there's a lax enforcement with this administration. Some people told on, in Border Patrol to stand down in certain instances. That's an invitation for people that uh, maybe are just a little bit shy about uh, breaking our laws to break the laws if they say they aren't going to get arrested. 
So uh, enforcement of our laws would help a lot. Uh, it's not going to solve the problem. And I don't think anybody could say a wall is going to solve the problem because we got other problems with uh, immigration like exit entry uh, uh, system that's not running. Uh, we uh, don't have enough internal enforcement. Uh, but uh, right now, just enforcing the law would help in some of these instances. Okay, and if I, I'm sorry, if I could just do a, a, one more quick question for Senator Grassley, since uh, so we have him on the line here. Senator, have you accepted any of the uh, debate uh, uh, challenges from uh, Patty Judge? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll refer you to my campaign headquarters because I'm going to uh, just do my job as a U.S. Senator is the best way to, to uh, expect the people of Iowa to approve you. So you can call up my he headquarters and they'll give you an answer. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah. Next, we have Tom Stanton with KFAV. Okay, next we have Lu Lucas Casey with WOI. Yeah, thank you, Senator. I, I guess I want to get a, a feel. Um, this legislation, obviously, um, being developed after the tragic death of Sarah Root, do you have any idea the scale of of a, if this is if this um, is going on, you know, in the Midwest throughout the country, I guess I, I prefer to hear from um, Iowa's delegation. Um, but but how in, how much impact do we have of um, potential illegal immigrants fleeing the crimes they may have committed? Well, it's hard to know nationwide because when folks like this do flee. Uh, it's tough to track them down. Uh, in this instant, he was actually caught and brought in and was released on bond and then fled. So hard statistical numbers overall from these types of incidents. It's hard to know if illegal immigrants are, are um, uh, just leaving the scene and not ever apprehended. This person happened to be apprehended and was released on bond. So I don't have any statistical numbers to show you, but it quite obviously shows us that in it, this instance with Sarah Root, there was a loophole that existed in the system and that loophole has to be closed. Um, and, you know, nationwide, again, I can't tell you the numbers, but one is enough. One is enough, and that one was Sarah. And so we need to do this for her family. And hopefully uh, other families won't have to go through the same type of anguish that Sarah's family has gone through.